It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, as always, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, the man with the plan, the man with the best hair in America, potentially, and of course, my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious April weekend? Well, Ryan, I'm ready for spring and... You know, I was going to uh, go to a Yankees game, but I decided to go to a fight instead. But, you know, you get both of the Yankees game now if they play the Boston Red Sox, it turns out. <laughs> that is, you know, that's just great television, great uh, entertainment in general. I mean, I, I think that's what we should live for as sports fans. <laughs> I think so. But we also have the NBA ready to go and uh, should be interesting to see who wins the big NBA championship this year. I know, with just so many wins as a, you know, Philadelphia native. We have the Eagles. Now we have Villanova, my alma mater. And then the Sixers are looking hot. I mean, I, I feel bad for all our New York, New Jersey listeners, but I'm feeling pretty good to be from Philadelphia right now. Well, you know what? Everybody, every dog uh, has its day, as they say, right? <laughs> and for Philadelphia, <laughs> it was many, 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 many year, decades <laughs> to have a day. Very true. Very true. So what do we got? What do we got for our audience today, son? Well, we have a great show to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to discuss, Bob, the financial industry's dirty little secrets. Mm. So you really know what is going on behind the curtain. We're going to pull it back and tell you all the things you don't really want to know but should know about the financial world. We're going to discuss false assumptions. You know, what incorrect beliefs do you hold about your retirement? and what it's going to look like. We're going to break that down along with this week's financial pornography, a lot going on in the news, the financial media, a lot of stuff you need to avoid to get to your retirement goals. We're going to point out the biggest offenders. And we have our colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney Dominguez on the show today. And she's going to talk about a real case, a real retirement plan she worked on, talk about some of the mistakes that they were making with their planning and, and how she fixed them in our spotlight segment. So it's going to be action-packed. Let's get right down to it, Bob. Let's discuss with our listeners some of the dirty little secrets of the financial industry. And what I think about is, what about all these gurus out there that don't really know what's going on, but they pretend like they do? You know, Ry, it's all about marketing. These people have been out there pretending they know. I mean, I, as you know, I've been around a long time. Back in the 70s, we had a guy named Joe Granville. And a lot of you may Who's remember he? him as someone who was supposedly able to predict the market. Of course, he was always bearish. But would it have been better to be buying in the 70s, right, rather than selling in the 70s? Well, let me ask you this. When you started in the business in the mid-70s, where was the Dow Jones trading at? Uh, how about 600? Wow, that's crazy. Can you imagine buying the Dow for 600 and holding all the way till today? You'd be a very, very rich man, Bob. Yeah, but you know, I'll tell you what, Rye. Even though he was wrong, he was so entertaining. He would, he would come up on stage and he would walk out of a coffin at an investment <laughs> conference. You know, he'd emerge out of a coffin. One conference he did, he wanted to appear that he walked on water. So he set it up where there's a platform in a pool. He walked across <laughs> the swimming pool to greet the investors to, to give his presentation. So, I appreciate his confidence. You know <laughs> yeah, a lot of confidence. He probably died poor. But uh, Joe Granville is a good example of a guru that could actually move the market on a short-term basis, but long-term was very harmful to your investing health. And that's the problem. It's, it's kind of like you know you mentioned showmanship, and that's the problem is a lot of these people that are on TV making these bold statements, they're entertainers. They're trying to get attention, but it doesn't really help you as a long-term investor because they're making bold decisions, and you never want to make what we call bold, all or none decisions on your portfolio. No, but it seems like they come and go, these uh, these gurus or charlatans, I believe. You know, I had Robert Prechter in the 80s who you know, after he predicted one correct move in the market for a couple of days, became a self-proclaimed guru. And then when he started predicting tornadoes and tsunamis, ah. people kind of tuned out. <laughs> and then there was Elaine Garzarelli, and now we got Harry Dent today. You know, Harry Dent told us that the Dow was going to be at 16,000 two weeks ago. Yeah, it's how about 24, not being- 24,000. He was a little bit wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a lot wrong. 
You know, another dirty little secret, Bob, in our industry is a lot of times financial advisors or gurus, however you want to call them, you know, they don't talk about what's important. They talk about things that don't really matter. And I think about like the new, new strategy that you should be putting your money into, right? There's always a new, new strategy. Yeah, I know. It's new. Everything, you know, when you think about new and improved, here's what I want to th- want you to think about. Ra, are you familiar with Tide detergent? Yeah, mom's been using it for like 100 <laughs> years. Yeah, well, every time I go to the supermarket to pick it up for, you know what it says on the box? New and improved. It's soap. <laughs> How do you improve soap? <laughs> Well, it's, it's either, you know, they're not really improving it or what was the swill that they were selling us initially <laughs> that they have improved it so much every single year. Uh, and you're right, Bob. It's kind of like the market, just like soap, it's the market, right? The fundamentals that have worked for the last 100 years invariably are going to work the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. You know, it's really the fundamentals that the timeless principles of the market that work. It's not the new, new thing because, as you always say, you know, markets don't really repeat, but they rhyme and they tend to do a lot of the same things over time. So, a lot of the same strategies, like the one we've been working on for 40 years, still works. Yeah, it really does work. And it's, you know, it just reminds me, right? If you go back, I mean, that was a great question. You know, where was the Dow Jones Industrial Average when I started in 1975? You look at every landmark in your life, you know, look at when you were born, when you went to high school, when you went to college, when you got married, when you had your first child. And you go back and you look at what the markets were trading at. They're all a lot lower than they are now. They've gone up in your lifetime, right? The markets have gone up in your life. They never go back to where they were. Yeah, that's a good point. And that's why it's so important to stay invested because you miss one move, you miss the boat. And I think the other thing to think about is what is important. And what is really important if you're getting close to retirement, you're in retirement, is what is your income gap going to be, right? When you stop working, you've got to replace that income somewhere. And that's why it's so critical to build an income plan on your portfolio. It's not about, is the Dow going to go up today, tomorrow, but where is that income going to come from? And that's the kind of things you need to be focused on, not, I've got a new strategy that's going to outperform the market, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's such an inconvenience. When you stop working, they stop paying you. How's that fair? That's why you can never retire, Bob, because <laughs> because paying capital is not paying you in your retirement. No offense. Well, the good news is you ran an analysis for me the other day, and I got a great amount of equity that'll build, you know, that generates that income, so I can add that income gap is filled. But that is such a critical element in retirement. Planning for your retirement is to know whether that income gap will be filled. It's a big void you want to avoid. And having a plan that's time tested. So if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I'm winging it. I don't have a plan. I don't know what my income gap is. And I don't even know how I'm going to fill in that income gap. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our now famous total financial master plan with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. If you bring in all of your statements your financial statements, 401ks, insurance statements, everything. We're going to load everything into a personalized portal and we're going to review the whole picture. So if you bring in your wills and trusts, we have an estate planner that'll make sure that's up to date. Dust off that will in the basement. We'll tell you where what you're missing out. If you bring in your tax return from this year or last year, we'll have our CPA partner review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. And then finally, we'll do a full portfolio x-ray. And we're going to look at the three critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? There's a lot of hidden costs in mutual funds, insurance products, annuities. Bob and I are going to break down all the fees on your portfolio and help you reduce cost. We're going to look at diversification. What risks, what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Are you protected against the next downturn? We're going to show you where the weaknesses are in your portfolio and bulletproof it for you. And we're going to look at income. What is your income gap? Is your portfolio producing enough income? We're going to show you to optimize and fill in that income gap in retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together and determine that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now? Our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. Now, if you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, 
Our team will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. And all you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. We told you earlier that Ryan Payne is the president of Payne Capital Management. This means he's the one responsible for designing the firm's investment and financial planning strategies. He has several years of experience helping clients innovate, evolve, and fine-tune their strategies. To reach out to Ryan and his team, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Pain Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning, this is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer and Managing Director of Pain Capital Management. Global markets inched higher on the week as concerns of a trade war faded when the President of China announced he would be open to tariff negotiations with the U.S. And in spite of the prospect of military action in Syria that would lead to a confrontation with Russia over the Middle East. So for the week, Wall Street had one eye on geopolitics and the other eye on the economy, where the news was rather good. The Federal Reserve released the minutes from the March meeting and, as widely expected, affirmed the Fed's optimistic economic outlook for GDP growth of 2.7 percent for the year. Now, earnings reports for the first quarter kicked into high gear with the big banks reporting this past Friday. The first quarter's earnings isn't just supposed to be good. It's anticipated to be the best in seven years. Some analysts project S&P companies' earnings to have grown 17% in this year's first quarter, aided by, of course, the new tax laws' lower top-line rate. Now, all 11 sectors of the index are projected to have big profit growth, with increases in seven sectors expected to be in the double digits. So why is this important? Well, as I've always said, stock prices are the slaves of earnings. The most watched ratio by investors on Wall Street is the P-E ratio. This is calculated by dividing the market price, the P, by the earnings, the E. The S&P is currently trading at 16 times forward earnings per share. Now, that's in line with the 25-year average. So earnings aren't just important. They're critical. And remember, there's no P without E, and it looks like E, or earnings, are going to be very, very good. Now, if you're wondering, do I have a portfolio that's built to win? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain, financial radio. And Bob and I, our passion, our mission in life is to educate you. And that's why we put together our newest online video series, which you can check out, called What You Need to Know About Creating Income You Cannot Outlive. It's just a simple baseline to get you started in the retirement planning process Simply text the word bullish, that's B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. You can access the course. They're simple, short videos, just giving you a breakdown, what you need to know to get the retirement planning process started so you're not overwhelmed. Check it out for free. You simply text the word bullish, that's B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish to 555 888. 888. And in this segment, Bob, let's talk about things you shouldn't assume, right? We often see a lot of investors making certain assumptions about their retirement that just aren't correct. So why don't we talk about things that we may believe but just aren't really true? And the one I hear all the time, Bob, is I'm going to spend less money in retirement. How untrue is that? Well, Ryan, it's very true. Everybody who's going to retire actually believes they're going to spend less when they retire. First (laughs) thing we tell them is, have you checked with your spouse? Have you checked with your children? Have you checked with your charities? Yeah, exactly. And and the last time I looked, Bob, uh, they they aren't looking to uh, to stop asking (laughs) when you're retired. 
Well, you know, what, look what happens. It's a big transition, first of all, right? When you go from having to go to work every day in a job you either loved or didn't love, or when you sell your business, whatever it is, whatever the transition period is, you now have a whole different life. And, and all of a sudden, you're able to go out and travel, you're out to spend more time with your hobbies. And people go a little crazy the first year, right? They book big trips, they buy big boats. You know, you know anybody who's bought a smaller boat in their lifetime, right? <laughs> I know you have one client. Every couple of years, the boat just gets bigger. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, I don't know how many feet that yacht is now, but it's uh, certainly bigger than the original one they had, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Just wired 600,000 to the yacht company. So they're, they're building the new one as we speak. Yeah, there you go. I, you know, that's a good point, Bob. I mean, the other thing is when you're working, you don't realize you don't have time to spend the money. <laughs> it's, you know, you don't realize there's going to be a lot of time now that you could potentially spend money that you didn't have before. You know, that's what every every single retiree that I work with, and I have a lot, right? Because I started 43 years ago. And they say the same thing. Bob, I've never been busier in my life. I don't know how I was able to do what I used to do working full time. I have no time. I don't even have time to call you back. Just keep doing a good job. Yeah. And I think the other thing is we forget is a lot of times your budget, I think more than not, Bob, I'm finding is your budget actually goes up. And that's why the nice thing about the planning process when we started is we just we get aspirational. It's like, okay, now you're not working. Trips are going to go to 20000 a year from 10000 a year. And a lot of times I find you're spending more money in retirement than you were before retirement. So forget spending less or the same. I'm saying more. It absolutely is a case, right? And it's, um, you know, it's all about planning. And a lot of times you're able to spend more. So it's better not to deal with fear. It's better to know and run those wealth projections, make sure that cash flow is there because you know what? There's nothing wrong with spending more in retirement. You've earned it. You should do it. You just need to know what that income gap is and and essentially how you're going to fill that income gap. The other thing that can be a misconception is my taxes are going down in retirement. And I'll put this caveat out there, Bob, your taxes definitely can go down if you plan for it. If they don't, a lot of times your taxes can be a mess when it comes to retirement. Well, I just read the other day, Rye, that the uh, the budget deficit's going to go over a trillion dollars this year. You know, we have a long-term debt that's been growing every year for the last 10 years. Do you think the federal government's going to reduce your taxes going forward? It's <laughs> a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's, let's uh, face it, yeah. when it comes to governments, whether it's federal or a municipality, they're crack addicts, right? And, and their addiction is money, your money. So you really do have to plan, but you have to realize that your taxes aren't going to go down. They're not going to lower the brackets, put it that way. You can plan around them and you need a good planner to do that. But let's face it, you know, they're spending money like drunken sailors and it's your money that they want. Well, on top of that, the other thing you have to worry about is we, we call this your your tax time bomb at 70 and a half. If you have a lot of money in retirement accounts, the government's going to force you to start drawing money from those accounts, which can push your tax bracket up really, really to you know much higher levels than you were initially in retirement. And that's why one of those things that what I like to do, Bob, in our meetings is just we actually look at doing a full tax retirement plan where we figure out, does it make sense to maybe start drawing from things like your IRAs before you're 70 and a half so you don't have a tax time bomb waiting for you once you get to that part of your life. So there is a lot of proactive things that you can do, but just to assume your taxes are going to go down is just crazy. Oh, it really is. And there's a lot of great planning strategies that you can employ where you can actually reduce your taxes in retirement guaranteed by converting to a Roth IRA like we did with many of our clients last year. Yes. Tax-free income in retirement is good. And we can definitely show you how to optimize that. The other thing is, you might just think to yourself, I may never be able to retire. And how do you really know if you haven't run the numbers? Like I've found many times where I've had clients come in and say, I just don't think I'm ever going to be able to do it. But by the time we got done the retirement planning process, figured out what their income gap is, they were surprised that they could retire actually even earlier than they thought. Well, you know, I was surprised to find out when I started this company with you that I am not able to retire because you won't let me. <laughs> well, that's because, Bob, your, your charm, your vision... I can't even think of uh, what to say. You're right. You just can't retire, Bob. <laughs> but you know what, Ryan? All kidding aside, it's, there's a lot of people like me who, you know, who look at their business. They look at what they do for a living as a vocation, and they really enjoy what they do. I have a lot of, you know, doctors and lawyers, executives who just they look at this as a hobby. This is this is how they enjoy their life, and they tell me, "Say, so, what do you mean retire? Why would I ever retire? I'm really great at this. I love what I do." Well, here's the thing: it's not about retirement. It's about knowing you can. 
right? It's about doing that planning where you know you have enough money to do whatever you want. It's the independence of, you know, being able to do what you want, when you want. You know, I call it your go to hell money. You know, you can tell anybody to go to hell if you want, <laughs> if you have it planned properly. I know a more derogatory way of saying that, but we can't say it on the air. <laughs> but you can imagine it's bleep type money. But yeah, no, I agree with you. And that is, that's the big thing, right? There's a difference between working because you have to and working because you want to. And that's really, if you do enjoy what you do, that's the place you want to be. Absolutely. Yeah, right. It's just about employing your own human capital, you know, and you can do it both. You can have it all, you know, life's for the living. And, you know, it's really about being financially organized. And when you meet someone, Ryan, when you ask them on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are they? What do you typically find? Bob, it's just not pretty. You know, most of us have stuff everywhere. We have statements all over the place and we just know we need to get together, but we just can't do it. We're too busy. Yeah. So on a scale of one to 10, where should people be or where would they like to be? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Yeah. Why not? If you'd like to rank a 10 in your financial life, would you like to have all of your financial documents and data organized and simplified? All you'd have to do is be one of our next 10 callers. And if you've saved over 200,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal, which will answer these questions, whether you have enough money to retire, or if you are going to be able to fill that income gap that Ryan talks about on a weekly basis. You know what it means? It means you'll have all of your account numbers, passwords, and security questions for every bank account, every statement, every insurance policy, every credit card, even your mortgage, virtually everything in a financially organized fashion. In other words, you're going to be able to know over time if you're going to outlive your money or if your money's going to outlive you. If you're one of the next few callers, what we're going to do is we're going to review everything. If you want to have your tax return reviewed, we'll have our CPA partner take a look. We'll have our estate planning attorney review your wills, your trust. We want to be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. But most importantly, we're gonna review your entire portfolio strategy. Now, we just received all of our statements for the month of March. They're all sitting in your desk. You know, put them in a bag, get a shopping bag, throw them in a bag, pick up the phone, make an appointment. We'll take all of that complex information and reduce it down to our famous investment analysis spreadsheet where we'll look at everything. The three key elements of a successful portfolio, diversification, cost and income. And finally, we'll tie it into one total financial master plan, utilizing the strategies that we've been using for the last 40 years and helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and as much certainty as a fiduciary like pain capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, be one of the next 10 callers or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. What is your income gap? Let's figure out how to fill it. Give us a call at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what egregious profane content did you find out there this week in the world of financial pornography? Well, Ryan, not only is a recession coming, but... What's happening now with the trade war is we're finally going to enter the financial ice age. Financial, that sounds frightening. What the heck is the financial <laughs> ice age? Sounds terrifying. What is it, Bob? I'm not sure, but I think this guy thinks it's bad. We have another what we call perma bear, a fellow named Albert Edwards from Societe Generale, who's been bearish he's French forever. Yes, he's French and he's bearish. So he thinks that the tariffs number one, are going to cause a recession. And then the 
trade wars that they'll lead to will cause a financial ice age. But he blames it all on the Federal Reserve. Um, I mean, the Federal Reserve definitely can arguably be a culprit. But what is the Federal Reserve doing that's just going to uh, freeze over the world? Well, they're going to raise interest rates and invert the yield curve. And of course, whenever you invert the yield curve, it creates a recession. So he's taking this information this week to support his permanently bearish view. And again, he's been bearish forever. I, it's funny you said that because I did read the article and they called him out on it. And they said, well, you know, this might be great and all, but you've been calling for doom and gloom now for, for over a decade, which again, the market's gone straight up for a decade. So here's a guy who's been dead wrong. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's, well, uh, I think, it, you know, I don't know if you understand how much it's going up, right? How much has the U.S. market gone up since the bottom in 2008? All right. So let's talk about the S&P 500. And I know the bottom of the market was that very ominous number. It was 666. Yeah. So we're up 290% in the U.S. and we're up 150% in non-U.S. markets. He's not a little bit wrong. He's really wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's scary because he goes into all these very academic reasons why something should happen. You know, it sounds very sophisticated. He's talking about the Federal Reserve and he's talking about debt. And if you read this stuff, you're like, man, this guy has a black belt in the financial markets. And then at the end of the day, you realize he's wrong. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how much knowledge he has. He's not right. And I think that's the other problem with our industry, Bob, is just let's use as many fancy terms as we can possibly use. Let's talk about our degree we have from, you know, whatever fancy institution. But all of that, you know, doesn't amount to, to anything if you're not right at the end of the day. Absolutely. And the thing that I think you don't think about is that when you have a diversified portfolio, you're actually making money every day. It's not an all or none proposition. You know, every bond you you own accrues interest. In other words, you earn interest. That's yours. It's your money. Every company is accruing a dividend that's paid out to you every quarter. It's your money. So you're making money every day. It's not about buy low, sell high. What's the market today? What's it tomorrow? It really matters is that you compound your interest and dividends over time so you can live off that money if you care to or give it away You know, once you are in retirement. Yeah. I mean, that's why cash is trash right now because cash earns nothing and a diversified portfolio pays off those dividends and interest. And that's what it comes down to. You need something to live on in retirement. And that's why you need a portfolio that generates a lot of current income, which if you look at it long term anyway, that's where most of your return comes from. It doesn't come from the market going up or down. And none of these gurus ever talk about that. And it's literally the most important thing. Blows my mind, Bob. No, it's amazing. And it, uh, I can't believe they still have an audience after you've been so wrong and that destroyed people financially if they absolutely, if they even think about listening to a guy like this. Well, along the same theme this week, a lot of the news going out there, I found an article on MarketWatch talking about geopolitical risk matters again. Here's what it means for the markets. And this talks mm. about the geopolitical concerns ranging from the White House, turmoil in North Korea, and they're also talking about now we have this China-US trade spat going on and tensions going on in Syria. And again, I think this is just noise, Bob, that's really keeping us away from keeping our eye on the prize. I mean, let's face it, Rye, if a, if a nuclear missile somehow gets launched from North Korea and lands in Japan or Guam, that's a geopolitical event that will you know, cause some damage to the markets temporarily. But these are unpredictable. And, and the things that we know are already priced into the market. So when people look at geopolitical events, it's really noise because everybody knows that's happening. Right. Agreed. What's the thing that happens that causes the markets to decline? I mean, mainly it's going to be the, the more fundamental things like are companies growing out their earnings? You know, is Absolutely. is the economy doing well? And if you look at it, and this is what drives me crazy, is if you look at the economy right now and the things that really drive stocks, they're better than ever. And we're getting distracted by all this other noise. Yeah, and the other thing is, if you look at the big crisis, like the big declines that have happened in the markets, we had the big decline in 2008. That was a financial crisis. You know when the previous financial crisis occurred? Well, you had the early 2000s when the tech bubble burst, but I don't know if that's at the same magnitude. No, it was 1929. So, you know, we're, we're 70 years away from the next financial crisis. I'm going to miss that one. You might not, Bob. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, markets are dynamic. And it's just what you want to think about is everything you know, everybody else knows, right? Everything you named geopolitically, everybody else knows that's already priced in the market. It's not 
you know, the snake you see that bites you, the one that you don't. So to sit here and fret about something that's unknown that may occur and not take action is a fool's errand. Yeah, exactly right. Because if it's, you know, the old saying, Bob, you know, why are there unexpected moves in the market? Well, they're unexpected. <laughs> because they're unexpected. And no analyst on Wall Street can predict those things. And that's why invariably over time, you know, analysts, economists can't really predict what's going to happen in the future because it's unknowable. I thought the point you made the other day, right, was spot on when you said that right. all the surprises in a bull market come on the positive side. And if you don't think we're in a bull market right now, you've been living under a rock. And I think that was a point well made. Thank you, Bob. I'll, I'll take that feather in my cap. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to avoid the noise. I need a real retirement plan that focuses on my goals, focus on the income I'm going to need in retirement. Here's your shot to do it. Uh, we still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a real, full, holistic financial review. If you bring in all of your statements, if you bring in your will, the one that's down the basement collecting dust, if you bring in your tax return, we're going to have everything reviewed. First, we'll have our estate planner tell you what you need to do to update your will at no cost. We're going to have our CPA partner, review the tax return and make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. Then we're going to load all your statements into one financial portal for you, one password where you can see everything. And we're going to look at the whole picture. We're going to look at the portfolio. We're going to do a full x-ray and determine those critical things. Number one, what type of income does your portfolio produce? Income is so critical in retirement. We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in investment products. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What risks, what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared for the next market downturn? We're going to show you how to protect yourself or bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Filling in that income gap, utilizing strategies we've worked on for now over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So call now or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Now, if you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200000 for retirement, our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call 844-752-6692. You can call or text 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. This is No Pain, No Gain. Without us, you're just stuck where you are. So let's get moving and back to the show. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I like to keep it simple because we're simple men and we want to keep it simple for you, give you practical, common sense advice that you can use with your own planning and investing. And that's why we put together our newest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, simple course that gives you the baseline to get started. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Get the planning process started. We made it simple, easy videos to digest. Check it out at 555-888. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, you can check us out in the World Wide Web. Yes, Bob's hair is real, but find out for yourself. Go to BeBullish.com. You can subscribe to our weekly content. Simply go to BeBullish.com and you can learn a little more about myself and Bob. And you can check me out most weeks on Fox Business News on Tuesdays at 11 with Stuart Varney. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at BeBullish.com. That's questions at at bbullish.com. Bob and I will directly answer your questions. And if it's a really good question 
And every week we do get some good questions. We answer it right here on the show. Bob, and I have a question for you from Lou, who's in Great Neck, Long Island. He writes in, Bob, should I buy gold coins or gold bars or no gold at all? You know, Rye, I have a big problem with gold. You can't carry it around. You can't eat it. And it doesn't pay any income. So I'm not a big gold fan. So I guess in case with Lou, I wouldn't buy gold coins. I wouldn't buy gold bars. And I would not buy gold at all. What I'd like to see Lou do is get a basket of commodities. What do you think? Wait a second, Bob. So you're telling me all those great ads I watch on TV about how gold is the best investment on earth are not true? Well, it hasn't been lately. And (laughs) it's underperformed just about everything else we follow. Wow. That's shocking because it tells me that gold is a very safe place to have my money. But you're right, Bob. Gold is very volatile. And what what we talked about a lot today is having income is one of the most critical parts of your portfolio and gold produces nothing. That's a bad deal. Well, it is. And you know what I've been told over the years, I mean, over 40 years, I've had people call me and say, Bob, you don't understand. Someday your money's not going to be worth anything and I'm going to be buying groceries for my family and your family's going to starve. You know, I always think about the fact that if you're if you're going to the grocery store and you're the only family that has gold and you're buying groceries and you're going home, you don't think anybody's going to follow you home and take your groceries and your gold from you? I guess they didn't think of that, did they? It's the apocalypse <laughs> I now scenario. They did. But you know what? I think that um, gold, you know, which is a commodity, does belong in your portfolio, but it should be a basket of commodities. It's like, it's, it's you know, when somebody asks me, should I just buy gold? I'm like, well, what about oil? What about gas, soybeans, soft commodities, hard commodities? You know, it's almost like asking you, Rye, should I just buy General Electric or should I buy the S&P 500? I mean, how do people fare picking one stock like General Electric over the last 10 years versus having a diversified large company portfolio in the S&P 500? Yeah, no, good point. I mean, definitely GE has not done well versus the market. And I think you bring up another big point here, and that is having commodity exposure in your portfolio, which is an inflationary investment, is very critical because if you look at the last 10 years, your portfolio, if it was successful, is probably not going to work the next 10 years, Bob, because we didn't have inflation in the last 10 years. You know, the US was the only place really growing. Now the dynamics have shifted, right? We have globalization happening. You know, countries around the world are doing really well and inflation is going up. And that's where a basket of commodities, not just gold, are a very good thing to have in your portfolio as a hedge. No, without a doubt, Ryan. And I think that's the thing. If it's not just inflation, it's also the fact that we have, as you mentioned many times, synchronized global growth. So there's countries around the world like China and India and Europe and Japan are growing and demand for stuff, which is what commodities are, is yeah. going up. So it's something that you want to have as a diversifier. Lou, we don't want you to buy gold, but definitely have a negatively correlated part of your portfolio in a basket of commodities to offset the risk you're taking in your financial assets. Well said, Bob. Arnold wrote in today from Radnor, Pennsylvania, pretty close to my alma mater down there, Villanova. Go Wildcats. He writes in, Ryan, I'm thinking that I'll spend a lot of money during the first few years of retirement and then a lot less after I've been retired for five years or so. Is that usually how it works? No, Arnold, it definitely doesn't. If anything, and we have a lot of clients now that are actually hitting their 90s, which is crazy, Bob. We Mm -hmm. have clients that are getting close to 90 that are still traveling and they're spending money like drunken sailors. Oh, for sure. And it's not just um, spending money like drunken sailors. It's the fact that inflation is real, right? Not just the cost of your utility bills or to repair your home, but healthcare costs. Healthcare costs have been going up way above the national inflation rate for years. And I think it's just going to accelerate, right? Yeah. I mean, that's why when we run the, those projections for you, we look at all those things because I, you know, it freaks me out. But Bob, if you have a million dollars today, in 20 years, that million dollars is only worth a half a million dollars because purchasing power is going down every single day. Good reason why cash is trash. Well, it really is. And the thing is, when you look at the expenses you have today, how can they not go up, right? If you own a home, you know, that, that air conditioner wears out, that roof wears out. Your landscaping has to be upgraded every year. You know, we've had some very severe storms. Can't imagine, you know, what your landscaping bill is going to be this spring. And it's just that as we get older, you know, the cost of our health care goes up because we use it more. So there's all kinds of things that are going to force you to spend more money just simply because the cost of everything goes up 
And basically, you're spending doubles every 20 years. That's what you have to bank on. Yeah, and that has to be a part of your your planning process because we talk about income, income, income. And when you stop working, you're going to have this income gap. And on top of that, your expenses are going to go up naturally because of all these things. So if, if that's not accounted in your plan, you could be in big, big trouble. And that's why it's so important to sit down and look at those expenses are going to be because odds are, even if you are in your, your mid 80s to late 80s, 90, the reality of it is your expenses aren't going to go down. No, and you know what, Ryan, it's not just sitting there looking at, do I have enough money and worrying about it or listening to your stock brokerage? You know, it's their words against your fear. You want to have a written projection, something that accounts for the increase of inflation, that accounts for, you know, taxation, looks at your life in a real view. These wealth projections are so valuable because once you have it complete, you know, you're going to be able to see if each aspect of your goals is being met. And if there's a shortfall, you can start doing something about it now. You don't want to be going back to work at 75 years old as a Walmart greeter. Yeah, I, I don't think being a Walmart greeter, Bob, is the ideal retirement. Just saying. Yeah, and I don't either, Ryan. If you don't want to be a Walmart greeter, and if you're wondering, do I have a portfolio that's built for the next 10 years, not for the last 30 years? Am I thinking about buying gold or do I have the right mix of assets in my portfolio? What we'd like to offer, if you're one of the next 10 callers and have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, no obligation. There's no cost. But if you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what you can expect. We're going to have our CPA partner review your tax return to make sure you're not paying any unnecessary taxes. We're going to look at your legal docs. We're going to have our estate planning attorney review your estate plan to be certain that it's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're going to review all of your investment statements, regardless of where you custody those assets. We're going to reduce it down to a simple three-page document that will look at the three core elements of a successful portfolio, and that's diversification, fees, and income. You want to be certain that you're diversified in this volatile marketplace. You want to have all the asset classes covered. It's not just about return. It's the risk you're taking to get that return. We're going to look at the fees. We want to be certain that you're not being overcharged by your own investments. You know, there's lots of ways to do things and achieve the same results with a lot less cost today. Your current provider's not going to tell you what those are. And lastly, income. We want to be certain that you're filling that income gap in your portfolio strategy once you're in retirement. And finally, we're going to tie it all together to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that I and my son have been perfecting now for over four decades. That's exactly right. For 40 years, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call us now or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. We have a few slots left if you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a full holistic plan at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Bob and I want to make sure you are retirement ready, and that's why we put together our newest online video series titled What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Just a simple baseline, get you started on the retirement planning process. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, that's the word bullish, to 555-888. You can download the course for free, get started, get ready. We made it very simple for you. Check out what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888, that's the word bullish, to 555-888, you can download the course for free. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show, our spotlight segment, and we have our star certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. 
Good morning, Courtney. How you doing? Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, um, and I know, so you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you tell us about this retirement plan and some of the mistakes this couple is making with their planning and investing and what you basically did to get them retirement ready? Yes. Now, to give you a little bit of background on this couple, they are in their early 60s and they came to us and said, you know, we're ready to retire. We want to retire with the next year or two here. Sounds good. But we have no idea what our investments look like. Are we doing the right thing? We have no direction. We need you to tell us if we can retire and what we need to do. So they didn't even know if they could retire already because that's a lot of times... You just don't know. So they want to find those numbers out, basically. Exactly. So do you have enough money? Are you set up? If there is some sort of market correction, are they going to be okay? So this is really a big thing they need to figure out before they retire. And for this couple specifically, there was really three main things that I noticed that we definitely need to get changed for them pretty immediately here. And number one, they have a whole lot more risk than they need to be taking right now. They are invested pretty much like somebody in their early 30s should be invested. Like if you are just starting to really get into the crux of your career and you're just starting out, not when you're ending your career and you're going into retirement. Way more risk than the need to take. Yeah, they have yeah. a portfolio that based on your analysis, Courtney, shows they're going to lose 26% in, in one quarter if we have any type of a, you know financial calamity like we did just 10 years ago. Yeah, and that that's real money. I mean, you don't want to be losing a quarter of your portfolio if the markets go down. We call that a buzzkill where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's the point, right? This portfolio is so reliant on the market going up or down. And when you get to retirement, you don't want to have that stress in your life anymore. Exactly. You need some consistency. You need income coming in. And they have a whole bunch of collections of different investments they own, which are dependent on the stock markets. The only safety they had was cash. So the cash doesn't even get them income. There's no return of principal there. So there was nothing in between for them. Yeah, and as we know, cash pays what? At the, at the high end, 1%, 2%. If the cost of living has gone up by 3%, you're losing money against purchasing power over time, and that does not help you get to your goals. Exactly. Courtney, what was the thought process for why they kept so much money in cash relative to the rest of their portfolio? You know, that, that's the funny thing here, and I've gotten this answer several times. They didn't realize how much cash they had in their accounts. They just didn't even know, right? Because it's like we have accounts here, there, everywhere, and if you total it up, a lot of times it's just a surprise to even know what your net worth is. Like I think most, most of the time you probably don't even know what your net worth is before you come in and meet with us. Exactly. And that was really my, my second big point with them is they have several different accounts. So we mm -hmm. looked at it. They have seven accounts that realistically can be consolidated down to three. And their thought process was, well, if I have somebody looking at it over here, I have somebody else looking at it over here, and then I have my 401k, I've got to be diversified. There's got to be some sort of plan that somebody's thought of here, right? Well, that's the great irony, right? Because when you put everything on one page, they have a lot of different advisors, but they're all doing the same thing. So they're not diversified. Exactly. All of their investments were basically in three categories here. So they have all these different investments. They don't know where they are, but realistically, they're all invested in the same thing. So we can actually simplify their lives by getting them fewer accounts and fewer funds that they're in, but way more diversified by making sure they own different categories and different companies and adding some safety in there. So it seems ironic, but we can consolidate their lives and get them more diversified. And the other thing they didn't probably didn't realize is that they were paying a lot of ex extra fees for actively traded mutual funds that were underperforming the target allocation that they were invested in. So it's in a lot of cases, they were over overcharged by their investments by having so many different custodians and different advisors as opposed to putting it into one cohesive view. Exactly. So that was our big thing is we want to get them to retirement, but we need to make sure we're building some safety in for them. We're consolidating their lives and we're really putting a plan in place and making sure that their investments are set up for retirement. And one of the biggest things you want in retirement for this couple specifically is when their income turns off, they're going to have their social security coming in and they do have a pension, but it's not going to cover the lifestyle the way that they're used to. Yes. We've been talking about that all day today is you have this income gap when you retire 
and you need your portfolio to make up that difference. Exactly. And this couple, it's such an easy fix where we can put in some safety into their portfolio and get consistent income. Whereas right now, they're only getting about $4,700 a year in income in their portfolio. I have a feeling that doesn't pay the bills. It does not pay the bills. <laughs> and just by reallocating things, getting them into some bonds that are going to generate income, we can generate over $30,500 a year for them, which is real money. Wow, I love that because that 30,000 has nothing to do if the market goes up or down. That 30,000, you know, let's say with almost 90 to 100% certainty, you know that income's coming in every year, which takes so much stress off of how you're going to live off your portfolio in retirement. Tremendous. Exactly. Exactly. So we want to make sure that their lives are consolidated, they're getting the income they need to get, and they're well diversified. So we can fill that income gap, we can really accomplish all that for them pretty simply here. It's just that they need to sit down and actually put this plan in place and make those changes, which is step one, really. Yes. You know, I'll tell you what, Courtney, it sounds like they're pretty smart people because they realized what they knew what they didn't know, and they talked to an expert who did. I mean, I think that's what we see all the time. If you're in a business where you're an expert in your specific business, it doesn't make you an expert in everything else. It's so smart to ask a fiduciary to take a look and see if they're doing all the right things. And clearly, you show them that that wasn't the case. Couldn't have said it better, Bob. <laughs> and not only a fiduciary, but certified financial planner. Awesome work. Another what we call financial masterpiece. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review like this. I need to know what income gap I have in retirement, how I'm gonna fill it. Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Courtney, C. Money Dominguez, CFP, will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll run the same exact review. We'll take all of your statements. We're gonna load them into one personalized portal for you. We're gonna review everything on a holistic bird's eye view level. We're gonna look at diversification. Do you have a lot of different accounts like this couple that own all the same things? Are you truly diversified? Are you protected against the next downturn? Do you have enough income? We're able to increase the income on this portfolio to 30,000 a year from $4,500. That's real money. Do you have a lifetime of income you're not gonna outlive? And we're gonna look at fees. Are, do you have a lot of high cost mutual funds? Do you have a lot of high cost insurance products where we can help reduce the cost? We're gonna show you how to eliminate costs on your portfolio. Then finally, we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're gonna determine that age old question. Are you gonna outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show. Court, amazing to have you on. It's uh, always uh, just a little brighter. <laughs> I'll have, take uh, it. See <laughs> Money Dominguez with us. Thank you for having me. You any big plans for uh, the rest of the weekend? Yeah, we're getting our first beautiful weekend here in New York, so just got to get outside and enjoy. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time coming. We're not all like Bob sitting in Florida, playing golf, sitting in the jacuzzi. <laughs> hey, a uh, little gratitude for sending all that warm weather your way, please. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it, Bob. Us peons up here. Well, another great show. Have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.